Throughout the 2016 election, there have been many people and many news sites that have tried to predict who will become the next president of the United States, Donald Trump or Hillary Clinton. And while many predictions have their accurate points and, you know, they've done a lot of research, you know, I'm going to make a very bold claim here of who is going to be the next president. Now, just so we're clear here, I am not a fan of any of the major candidates. I don't really support Donald Trump or Hillary Clinton in this election. I will still be voting, though, but not for those two guys. But anyhow, here's who I think is going to win this election. I think that as of this video being recorded on November 1st, 2016, a week before the election, I think Donald Trump's going to win the election. Now, hold on, hold on, before you start writing your angry comments or you start saying, Oh, Trump supporter, you're a racist, you're a bigot, or whatever, let me just say this right now. Like I said earlier, I do not support Trump at all. However, there is one key factor as to the reason why I'm picking Trump, and that is his supporters. Now, let me just say this right now. Trump supporters, at least from what the media has shown us or from based on some people that have shown at his rallies, they're kind of crazy people. But at the same time, they're also really dedicated and really vocal supporters, which in this election has been vital to Trump's success. I mean, if you think about it really, Donald, in any other year, in any other given election year, Donald Trump would be tanking badly. His message, like, you know, his message is violent to its core. It's xenophobic to its core. I mean, it is absolutely an awful message. However, you know, his supporters are buying it up. Now, why is that, you may ask? Well, I think for a couple big reasons. One, you know, there's a lot of voters out there who are sick and tired of, you know, not only losing their jobs, but the government not doing a single thing about it, at least according to their eyes. At least, and they're sick and tired of, like, you know, the, their, the Democrats' policy of, like, you know, enforcing more taxes or having to pay for health care. Like, a lot of these people who are hard workers who are, like, you know, worked at, like, factories for years and then all of a sudden, thanks to programs like NAFTA, their jobs are being shipped overseas for cheaper labor. So they look at candidates like Trump, who they think, you know, will bring them back their jobs and who will bring them back opportunity, when in reality, all Trump wants to do is use become president for a political advantage and for for him to, induce, to boost up his own ego. You see, Donald Trump, the secret behind Donald Trump's success, besides the supporters, is taking something like, you know those uh, home res... Remember that show, show Extreme Makeover Home Edition where they took like, you know, a crappy house and made it like into something beautiful? I call it the Cinderella effect in a way. That's what Donald Trump does. Like, he takes like his crappy financial situation, for example, nearly losing a billion dollars and making himself to be a tremendous or a huge success. And this is what Donald Trump's been doing this entire election. He has convinced his supporters that, you know, despite all the horrendous things he has said, that he is still a success and that he will make America great again in his eyes. And his supporters have been buying it up. And they've been buying it up because they are afraid of what the Democrats will do to this country. They are afraid of what is happening right now and what may happen in the future. And Donald Trump has used that to his advantage. And also, another thing about Trump supporters is that, you know, they, they since they really want, like, you know, America to be back in the way it was, you know, they're willing to sift through Donald Trump's crap like, just to get to that goal. Like, you know, they don't care if Trump says sexist things on an Axis Hollywood bus. They don't care if he wants to, like, you know, deport 11 million undocumented immigrants. They don't care if Donald Trump wants to call for a ban of all Muslims. They really don't care. All they care for is they want their strong man in office to become their next leader. Like, they are sick of the Democrats, honestly. But it's not just the love for Donald Trump that's I, I think he's going to win this election. I think it's also the hate against Hillary Clinton, too. I mean, in my home state of Connecticut, I have been seeing, at least in my eyes, more Trump signs and slash anti-Hillary signs than I haven't seen pro-Hillary signs, honestly. And, you know, Connecticut is a really democratic state. Now, does that mean Hillary's going to lose Connecticut? Probably not, but it just shows you the amount of hatred against Hillary Clinton. And, you know, and Hillary Clinton, in my eyes, has made a lot of mistakes. I mean... Look at her record as Secretary of State. Look at her record as a lawyer before going before getting into involvement with Bill. Look at her 
involvement as a senator. I mean, you know, the list can go on and on. And really, you know, Trump, I think his message, you know, is simple and to the point. Really, not, not as a good message at all. But I mean, you know, if you look at the debates, first of all, and the way he attracted his supporters was that, you know, Trump knew that a lot of people only watched the first half hour of the debate since debates are hour and a half long and they are usually at night. And, you know, since the debate starts at 9 o'clock and that's when most people watch it, Trump decided, like, you know, to bring out all his best points at that all his best points at the first half hour of the debate, you know, so that more people would watch it. And so then that, so then during the next hour of the debate, if Trump would stumble, he would think, oh, not as many people would watch it. I mean, if Trump would lose into those debates, he wouldn't care as much because as long as he got his message and seemed professional in the first half hour, then a lot of people who would be watching that first half hour would be thinking, hmm, Trump's not a bad guy at all, really. So, I mean, Donald Trump... I think this election has been one of the greatest marketing campaigns for Donald Trump ever. Like, you know, he has taken all of his weaknesses and somehow turned it to his advantage for his supporters. And their supporters are buying it up, surprisingly enough. Like, you know, they believe so... They are so dedicated to Trump's message that, you know, they honestly do not care what this man does or what this man says. And they don't care about the trials that are going to be coming up in the next couple months or so. Or they don't care about what he's done in the past. All they care about is this man being elected so that they hope that they can get their agenda across. So yeah, that's why I think Donald Trump is going to win this election. And so till again, it's a white right sign off. And please, people, remember to go out and vote on November 8th for the person who you believe should run this country. See you around, people. Bye.